Thank you for helping tidy my house, Nanny Plum. No problem, Mrs Witch. My goodness, what a lot of cobwebs. Let's magic them away. Lovely. I don't know what I'd do without you, Nanny. But, Mrs Witch, why can't you just use your own magic to tidy your house? The thing is, I don't do much magic these days. I'm retired. Meow. Still got your mangy old cat, I see. Don't be rude about Moggy. I say cat, but it's just a bag of fleas, really. Leave him alone. I'm warning you. And he's smelly. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs Witch, you've turned Nanny to stone So you can do magic Only if I'm cross Nanny was being very rude about my cat Can you turn Nanny back? If she says sorry Sorry And say mm. sorry to Moggy Sorry, Moggy <laughs> Oof, I forgot she's so touchy about her cat <laughs> We're going to look at frogs. Um, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? It's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag Zog. Make me into a frog! Wow! <coughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. Oh. <laughs> and how smelly it is. Oh, stinky wimpy poo! And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari, um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if you don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore then? Oh, no. I just... Look... Witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That. Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs. Witch. Maybe not, but she was. <laughs> Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. 
if Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh. Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. <laughs> Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Hooray! Very good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello! Uh, my daddy, the king isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? I think that means yes. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Holly. Let's check our list. A dewdrop. Here, Nanny Plum. Slug slime. Here, Nanny Plum. Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh. We haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Going to taste horrible. No, Ben. 
Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> You should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> and then the witch locked the fairy and all the elves in a big Cage. Help! Help! They shouted. Hee hee, I'll never let you go, said the witch. Oh no! Why did she lock the children up? Because the witch was very naughty and the children were annoying her. Ah! All the chasing around had made the witch hungry, so she ate a mouldy old cake. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Ooh! Why did she eat a mouldy old cake? That's what witches eat. And she drank a glass of sour milk. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> After that, she fell asleep. Snore, snore, snore. She's asleep, said the fairy. Quick, let's escape. So the elves broke open the cage door and the fairy princess got her wand back. Ooh. Then the witch woke up. Get back in your cage, cried the witch. But the fairy was already casting her spell. Zip, ping, current bun, witch's magic, all undone. In a flash, all the children were set free and the witch, stuffed full of mouldy old cake, couldn't catch them. The end. Hooray! Then what happened, Mummy? Um, the witch was told off for being mean and nasty and made to wash dishes for the rest of her life. Ooh. Horrible things, witches. It's a good job they don't really exist, isn't it? When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The, the Tooth Fairy! <laughs> <laughs> Nanny? Why did Mummy say being a tooth fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. Oh. You. Bye. Oh. Oh, a spider! <laughs> <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. Ho, 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 ho. Happy Elf Joke Day! Oh, ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Mr Elf, I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. <laughs> Mrs. Witch! Where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so polite and charming. She wants to put you in the old witch's home. And live in your house. You're right. Remember I'm cross. Remember I'm cross. Let the, Let spells, the spells begin. begin. The, witch the witch that turns, that turns the, the other, other to, to stone, stone is the is winner. The winner. <laughs> Remember I'm cross. Remember, I'm cross. Mrs. Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs. Witch to stone. That's it. I've 
won! I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Uh, working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. Oh. He smells awful. Oh. I'm nearly cross. You leave my moggy alone. Wow, Mrs Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs Witch is the winner. We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! <laughs>